just what shoes are in. Hello everyone, Joanna Wilson here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about all things relating to the AQA A-Level Biology essay. So that essay that you've got to be doing in your third exam. It can be quite a nervous thing for people when it comes to doing those exams as it's the first time that particularly science students have ever had to do anything like this. But it will set you in good stead for university and I feel like it is really a brilliant opportunity to show how much you know and how much you can put it together in that exam. So I've made a little PowerPoint which I'm going to be going through today just because it's quite easy to display these things. First couple of things to note are a few basics regarding the essay. So it's 25 marks in total which does sound a bit like wow um, compared to those high mark questions which are about six marks that you used to. It's a synoptic essay so we're bringing together ideas from all over the specification in this piece of writing. We've got to draw those concepts from the whole course and link them together. And in the exam, you get given two essay titles and you have to write one of them. So there is a bit of choice and you can choose the one which you are most comfortable and most confident in writing. The way that I would structure this is always starting with an introduction. Now this just needs to be defining the key concepts in the essay and also giving the reader a bit of an idea of the things that you're gonna be talking about. Four to six examples, it does explicitly say that they don't want millions of examples of someone waffling on, but they also don't just want two or three really, really in-depth examples. So around four to six examples that are drawn from the whole course. And then I do always like to put a conclusion on the end and round things off. And the biggest thing that I'm gonna say here is ensure that you are answering the question and ensure the examples that you give are specific to the question. Now that is the key to success in this essay. So this is something on the AQA website that they've got available. It's basically the examiner's report from the 2016 essay. And I just found some of the things that they'd written about on here quite useful to talk over. So the first one is that many students wrote about relevant topics but failed to relate the content to the theme of the title. So basically what I just said, make sure we're answering the question and make sure every example that we give relates back to that question. The vast majority of students appear to understand that this is a synoptic essay exercise where they have to attempt to draw on a wide range of examples to obtain a high mark, so that's good. Examiners reported that substantive attempts at extension material were uncommon, so we're going to go on to the mark scheme in a second, but to push on to those high, high boundaries, then we need to draw something into the essay that isn't already on the specification and I'm just going to talk briefly about how to do that when we um, go on to the mark scheme. And GCSE level content was common as in previous years. They use examples that any member of the public might use and this meant that we did not gain extra credit. Remember this still is an essay in your A-level biology exam so we need to be drawing those concepts from the A-level biology specification and writing them in that level of detail. First of all, we determine a level. So one to five, you can actually get a level zero if you don't write anything or if what everything that you write is completely irrelevant. And then within that level, they are banned. So determine a mark within that band is important. And it's based on content, suitability of the content, and then maybe any errors within that content as well. So we're just gonna have a brief look at the bands. Like I said, you can get zero if there's nothing of relevance on no response. One to five marks is an unfocused response and it's only indirectly addresses the theme of the question and merely it presents a series of biological facts which are usually descriptive in nature or poorly explained. Six to 10 is unistructural and only one or a few aspects covered. I'm not gonna read through all the stuff here. Uh, you can pause this to basically get a better idea of these bands. Multi-structural is 11 to 15 marks, and this is several aspects covered, but they are not necessarily related to the key theme. So the response mostly deals with suitable topics, but they're not interrelated and links are not made to the theme of the question. The biology is usually correct, but it lacks detail. And then these are the bands that we're looking for, bands four and five. So four is relational and it's integrated into a whole. 
this is like a story that we're telling and we're linking topics together and we're linking them to the main theme of the question. The biology is pretty much all there and all at A-level standard and contains some points that are detailed, whereas some areas could be a bit less developed. And there might be one significant error or a few other little mishaps in there. And then the band five, which is extended, abstract and generalised beyond specific content, shows a holistic approach to the full question with a fully integrated answer. We've got detailed and comprehensive A-level content. We always use in the right terminology. We've got no significant errors. And for top marks in the band, the answer shows evidence of reading beyond specification requirements. Now, my top tip for this is to find two to three things that are beyond your specification that you could use in a series of examples. Now, what I am going to do is link down below pretty much every single essay title there's ever been. And as we go into the next slide, I'm going to talk about how you can plan for those. But what you'll see is they're themes that come up again and again and again, and they're themes that are sort of interrelated with one another. If you can come up with two or three examples that you could throw in there for a couple of themes, then that would be brilliant. And it doesn't have to be anything major. It could just be a paper that you've read. It could just be a little bit of extra content in an area that does come up quite often. So yeah, people often think they should be reading for hours and hours on end on like beyond the specification. That's really not the case. I would recommend just coming up with three, four facts that you can throw in there in a series of different examples. Here are a few definitions of what the things in the mark scheme mean. I'm not gonna read through these, but please feel free to pause the video and have a look through them yourself. And this is just something that I think is quite reassuring, actually. It's in 2014, it's the range of marks that were got by students. And I think the main thing that I think is reassuring is not many people, in fact, pretty much no one, is getting really, really low, below five on here. So people are gaining at least half, if not more, of those marks on that essay. So please find that reassuring. So what can you do now to go away and get prepared for this essay? Plans, plans, plans. I want you to make an essay plan for as many essay titles as you possibly can. And I will link down below the document that AQA give you with all the essay titles on so you can have a look and start planning through those and draw areas from the entire spec. Now, it depends how you split your specification in your head. I know certainly on the AQA Elder Biology Masterclass that I've done, I split it into eight sections. So maybe in your plan, write numbers one to eight down the left hand side and see if you can come up with an example at least from four of those different topics. That's really, really important. And I think also drawing on AS as well as A2 content is really, really important. So I wouldn't have all four examples in sections one to four or all four examples in sections five to eight. I'd try and have a mix and match as well. So we're getting that breadth of content across the specification. Another thing that I would say is really important is doing some timed examples. So setting yourself the amount of time that you're going to give yourself in that exam for your essay and sitting down and hammering some out, using your plans to be able to do that and then maybe doing a few blind as well without any notes or any plans. Um, and I would definitely account for some planning time during your exam to be able to do that. I think that's really, really important as well. And then also in terms of revision, I think if you can do detailed enough plans that are really pleasing on the eye, that you can understand really well and that draw upon all the different areas of the spec, I would start to use those plans as revision tools, learn your plans, and I think that will be very beneficial for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has cleared a bit up on the AQA A-Level Biology essay. I know it's a very, very much asked question to go over for myself. If you are an A-Level Biology student and you're looking for some support, with revision, then please head to the link down in the description to get involved in my AQA Level Biology Masterclass, a series of tutorial videos where I go through the entire specification with you all. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share this video with a friend if you think it might support them. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible if you just work. Bye!